Nothing says you're an experienced Akihabara veteran if you whip out one of these at the Denki Guy Gate. So these are IC card holders, and I've wanted one of these for a long time, but I really didn't have any practical usage for them, I suppose. It wasn't until I actually went to Japan that I was able to purchase both of these and actually use them for what they were intended to be used for. Because I think if I would have one over here in the United States, I don't really have a, a card that I would put into here other than like what I use for work as a, like a badge and a access card when I swipe into buildings and stuff like that. Uh, but of course, I probably wouldn't use an anime card. At, at least, at least I don't think I would. Don't put it past me. I might. Uh, but for now, like in America, it's so much easier just to put everything into your wallet. Whereas in Japan, I think maybe it was just a novelty of the trip, but I wanted to have one of these. So the first one I picked up was the Yukino Shita Yukino uh, one, and this one is produced by Kaspa. I've actually seen this exact model being sold on AmiAmi before and this was one that I had previously considered buying just because it was like 1400 yen which is fairly inexpensive for what it is maybe maybe a little too expensive but uh, it's a fairly simple design on the front it just has the or rear depending on how you look at it uh, it has uh, a nice little character portrait here and it says the series it's just a little simple design I believe there's one for every character in the series and if you flip it over to this side, this is where you would slip your IC card, or I guess just any card, really, you could put in here. It's not specifically made for IC cards. Um, and then up here is a little strap hole, so you can uh, attach it to a lanyard or something like that. Or, uh, you know, like those little, like, stretchy things. Uh, not stretchy things, but like, uh, like those badge holder things, I guess, that you, like, you have it attached to like your waist and you like pull it out and it it's like a string that like just reels itself back in similar to like a fishing rod. But I guess I should explain what an IC card is. So in Japan, IC cards are basically like, they basically are God uh, because it's like a credit card, I guess, but it's specifically used for, I guess, like a lot of things really. But most of the time you'll use it for trains. And using the like the JR lines and stuff like that within Tokyo, as well as a number of other things. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there are two main providers, at least within the Tokyo region, which are Suica and uh, Pasmo. Uh, depending on, I mean, they're essentially the same thing. It just kind of depends on which one you can get your hands onto. Though, as far as I'm aware right now, there has been an IC card shortage, so I don't think you can really get a new IC card. So. If you wanted to use one, you'd probably have to use a digital one unless you got lucky or you're using one of the, uh, like the JR pass that they give to foreigners or whatever. But IC cards are used for more than just trains. You can use them at pretty much any convenience store. So like you could go to 7-Eleven or Lawson's or, uh, you know, just wherever you want and you can use them to pay for items. So, uh, I guess it behooves you to load those things up with a lot of money. I guess depending on how much traveling you're going to do, but it's not necessarily a bad thing to put a lot of money onto these because even if you don't necessarily use it all that, uh, like whatever you top it up for for tr travel specifically, you can definitely use it uh, when you go to Konbini and stuff like that. And I actually have my Suica card in this one, so I can show you what it looks like right now. So this is the card I purchased in 2023. The Suica card, I'll flip it over right here. On the back, there's a number. I don't know if that's like something that you need to keep secret or whatever, but I'm not going to show it. Uh, there's a number here, there's a number there, whatever. I'm just going to bit crush the video anyways. This is going to come out in 480p, uh, so it's not a huge deal. Actually, I wonder if I, I wonder if I put it in the other way, if I could see the penguin. Because this has a little window right here. No, I can't see the, the penguin, unfortunately. This is another IC card holder, which is significantly nicer, and of course I had to pay more for it. This one is was purchased from the Idolmaster store, which was uh, near the Dengeki Gai Gate in, uh, in Akihabara. Uh, this one, I think, it, what was the specific building it is? I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll put like a, a picture or something. Uh, Arte, it was Arte. Arte is, it's like a, kind of like a general use building that they have a couple staple stores in there, but 
uh, they do have a rotating, uh, like I guess depending on the season or whatever, uh, they lease it out and there are occasionally special stores. I think the Idol Master store is like a staple item there that's been there for a while, but depending on like different events that are happening, they might have different little pop-up stores there. And it's right when you get off the, the train in Akihabara. Um, so this is the Takagaki Kaede card, who is uh, my favorite Idol Master girl and my waifu. Um, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a competition. It's you know, it's whatever. I I love Yukino Shita Yukino. I also love Takagaki Kaede. I, I you know I can't choose. Put a gun to my head, I will probably die. Uh, but um, here are the two. Here's the, I guess just the two card holders. This one's a little bit nicer. It was it was a bit more expensive. I want to say it was closer to two thousand yen, but I don't know the exact price off the top of my head. It might have even been more, but it does come with this little strap thing, which you know I didn't really end up using all that much because I just had this in my uh, sort of like my uh, fanny pack or whatever, uh, you know, like a bag full of miscellaneous items, and I just kind of threw this card in there. Uh, and I just wanted to have one of these IC card holders just because I was in Japan and I felt like having one of these was a sign that you were, or at least this is how I thought of it, is that having one of these was a sign that you were an experienced, uh, like, traveler, I guess. And it, it, like, I was under the, you know, like, it just it just made me feel like I knew what I was doing if I had one of these. Uh, and, I mean, I had a physical IC card and I wanted to flex that too because... You never knew if there was other gaijin around who had one of the crappy uh, virtual ones on their phones or whatever. Um, but regardless, there's this one right here. It has like a little uh, button clip so like you will never lose IC card unless you lose the whole entire holder. Uh, you can obviously change this out, but I think this one's really nice. Uh, if anyone watched, I, th I can't remember if it was in a Parzi Warzi vid or if it was in a, a, like a... a a compilation I put together for one of my Japanese videos, uh, like trip videos, where I showed off one of these, uh, or me actually using the IC card um, when I was in Kyoto specifically. Uh, but regardless, that's a short, quote unquote short, that was actually longer than I thought. There was way more to talk about about IC cards than I thought. Uh, but these are IC card holders, there's a number of them. I don't know if they're really that popular, I didn't see any Japanese person using one per se. Like, women, of course, had those little, like, coin purse things. The, it was similar in format to this. Like, it's a little bit bigger, and you put, like, coins and stuff in there, and, like, uh, credit cards or whatever, and you just kind of, like, swipe it. Uh, or people had them on their phone or something. But I didn't really see anyone with an anime card holder. Perhaps they were out there. I think it's an interesting novelty. And I was glad to actually use them when I was in Japan uh, for their intended purpose. And hopefully, if anyone saw me using these when I was in Japan, any a fellow gaijin or Japanese otaku saw this, saw me using my Idol Master Cinderella Girls uh, exclusive IC card holder, uh, they they gave me a slight nod uh, in acknowledgement that I was one of their brethren. Uh, but. That's it for this random little thing. Um, IC card holders are really cool, uh, and they're actually pretty cheap too. So, I mean, it doesn't add any weight if you throw this into one of your monthly AmiAmi orders.